my goodness, I'm so excited to finally be sitting down and being able to film my 31 week pregnancy update for you guys. I know that I had missed a lot on um, being able to actually sit down and film a proper pregnancy update for everyone. But I had my reasons and that's because I was getting ready to get married so I was more thinking about my wedding rather than the actual pregnancy itself. So now that we're married and now that all the wedding talk is over, I'm finally sitting down and filming my actual first um, sit down update which is kind of interesting because I haven't filmed a beauty video in like months so I feel a little bit rusty to be honest sitting down and talking about my pregnancy symptoms and all that. Anyway, I decided to film in my nursery just because, you know, it's just so fitting. I'm talking about my pregnancy and how I'm feeling and all that so I decided to film in the nursery. I am, like I said, I'm 31 weeks today. So according to my Baby Center app, I have nine weeks and two days to go. So that's exciting. It's coming up and I'm nervous and excited at the same time. I did have my doctor's appointment today. Uh, just another checkup on how I'm doing and how I'm feeling how baby is growing and baby is growing just fine. She is, I believe when he measured me, he said about 31 centimeters. So she did grow from my last doctor's appointment, on my, which was my 28th week. So my 28th week, she was about 27 centimeters, I think. My weight gain is good. And we basically just talked about proper diet and nutrition. This week has been bad. Like, I have been bad because I've just been craving for junk food. Junk food and fast food. So, all I think about is chicken nuggets or a big juicy burger. And that's just what I want. So, aside from that I still do crave watermelon here and there but not too crazy my second trimester I think I was crazier because I craved for watermelon pretty much every single day and my poor husband had to run to the store every couple days just to uh, make sure that our fridge is stocked up with watermelon pretty much yeah that we talked about diet restriction and just to up my protein, more vegetables from here on till delivery. So a lot of juicing going on soon here for me. Other than that, I feel great except for, of course, I've been having water retention. So my fingers have been bloated. My wedding ring actually doesn't fit my ring finger. This is another ring that I have that used to fit my thumb but now it fits my ring finger which is too funny my my feet sometimes they do swell if I am standing up for a long time which is a common symptom as per what the doctor had mentioned to me today joint pain um, the other day my wrist started to hurt so uh, he said that's just because of the fluid retention and also, I've had, oh my goodness, I don't know how many of you had gone through this, you moms out there or moms-to-be, if you've had any leg cramps. I've had major leg cramps where in the middle of the night, I would wake up and it would just hurt and it would just, it's a leg cramp that you can't just sleep on. Like, it would totally wake you up. I've been hungry all the time. I'm starting to get really tired more and I just like went today when I went to my doctor's appointment, just went to my doctor's appointment, didn't do anything after that, 
came straight home and I napped for a couple hours because I was just so pooped. So it's funny how I didn't even do anything really. I just went to the doctors, came home, and I was exhausted. I feel like a turtle <laughs> because I just feel like I'm just walking so slow and I feel quite heavy. Although some people say I'm not that big for my belly size, but of course other women are different and because I'm so small, I guess all the weight that I carry is all baby weight and it's all in the front. So when I walk, it feels like I'm carrying this big load of like watermelon or something that it strain pretty much strains my lower back especially if I uh, am like I said if I'm on my feet for so long or if I'm bending a lot my lower back does tend to hurt a lot so um, that's that for a few of my pregnancy symptoms in the beginning I hated the smell of meat I don't know if I had told you guys this but I hated the smell of meat I couldn't take any meat down, not even chicken or anything. The only food that I was able to take down was soup. So my fridge was stocked with soup. Now I'm pretty much good with eating pretty much anything. So I'm really fortunate that my nausea had stopped and diminished after my third month and I started to move on to my second trimester. That's pretty much it. Um, my nursery is starting to come together. We just need a couple things to make it actually look like a nursery. Ordered our wall decals a few days ago, so that's coming in our P.O. box soon. And then once that comes, then Chris will be putting the wall decals up. I still need to go get baby's names. I was thinking of putting her name like by her crib on top there so it'll be hanging on top of her crib. The hospital bag, I'm almost done packing it, I just need to basically pack my toiletries and that's pretty much it. But my baby shower is coming up October 13th so I'm pretty much just waiting for more clothes because I'm pretty sure we're going to get more clothes from our guests as gifts. So once I get that, then I can bring more clothes for her at the hospital as her outfit because you never know how long we're going to be staying there. Hopefully not very long. It's always nice to bring extra baby clothes just in case. So that's pretty much it. Last night I had the worst sleep. I had insomnia because I just couldn't stop thinking about what else I need to do, what else baby needs, and I still feel like I'm not fully ready as per what the baby needs. I guess that contributed to my insomnia, but I guess that's pretty common for moms, is it? I don't know, you guys tell me, all you moms out there. My breast, which is TMI, my breast, I mean, I'm putting this cream on my nipples and it's called Lanolin and I will put the link below for that too. So I know it's TMI, but my mother-in-law actually recommended this cream and she said that, you know, after your shower, once I, I put bio oil on my stomach too, just to avoid getting stretch marks. So apart from that, I also use the cream for my nipples and the cream, she says, is good just to kind of, you know, get used to the sensitivity and it helps with the sensitivity once I start breastfeeding so I won't get the pain that other women feel or it's not going to shock me right away that it's gonna hurt. This cream is apparently supposed to help ease the nipple pain or whatnot so hopefully it works but if you uh, moms-to-be want to know about that certain cream I think you can get it at any drugstore over the counter and they may even have it in the baby baby aisle too like the the pharmacy aisle for babies 
a link that below for you guys if you want to know more about it and that's pretty much it I think for my updates other than I've just been getting hungry like non-stop every hour my doctor had mentioned to me today that I I'm gonna be getting tired more um, from here on until until when it's time for me to deliver I've just been taking it easy I am still working but it's fine because at work I do a lot of walking anyway and it's supposed to be good for you so I don't mind going to work for a few hours a day and do all my walking and stuff like that but um, it is true I am getting exhausted more and more now but I'm still trying to put out videos out there for you guys I'm still trying to you know try to get my updates done for you guys and this is so exciting I'm actually I was really excited to film this because it's my actual sit down update it's not just a vlog <laughs> so that's pretty much it I will show you my stomach so there's my stomach Alright, there we go. So if you have any questions or suggestions for me at all throughout this whole pregnancy, all you moms out there or mommies to be, do leave me comments below and uh, you know it's nice to share some ideas and what we're all going through and stuff like that. So it'll be nice to see your guys' comments regarding what you girls are going through in your pregnancy and how we can help each other out. One more thing, we do have a name for her, but we're going to be releasing the name once baby is born. So you guys will find out when she's born or her name will be. Anyway, hope you girls liked this update, my 31 week update. And if there's anything that you think I missed uh, mentioning in this update, let me know and then I will try and fill in that answer for you. Hopefully this update wasn't boring and you got to sit through this whole video and if you did, thanks so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and support our channel. We are going to be putting more vlogs up for you guys, especially when baby's here, you want to document her milestones so we're gonna be doing a lot more vlogs so I hope you guys learned something from watching this and I will see you guys in our next video bye